Consider, by what two mechanisms does exercise lower blood glucose levels? Blood glucose levels rise after a carbohydrate-rich meal. Insulin, a hormone secreted by pancreatic beta cells, lowers blood glucose levels by allowing glucose to enter cells. When insulin binds to its receptor, a phosphorylation cascade begins that moves vesicles housing glucose transporter proteins, specifically GLUT4 proteins, from the cellular storage compartment to the cell surface. Glucose can then enter the cell and begin glycolysis or glycogen synthesis. The mechanisms behind insulin resistance are not well understood. Defective insulin receptors, insulin signaling, or glucose transporters may be the cause. As a result, very little glucose can enter the cell and hyperglycemia ensues. This is known as type 2 diabetes. Exercise can lower blood glucose levels via two distinct mechanisms, the contraction-mediated pathway and the insulin-stimulated pathway. Greater intensity exercise yields greater glucose uptake by skeletal muscle cells, and long-term exercise training increases insulin sensitivity. Consider. What are the key steps of the insulin signaling pathway? Insulin binds to the tyrosine kinase receptor, causing it to autophosphorylate. Phosphorylation is a reaction catalyzed by kinases that activates proteins by donating a phosphate group. The activated insulin receptor recruits an insulin receptor substrate 1 protein, labeled IRS1. IRS1 activates protein PI3K, which catalyzes the phosphorylation of a special kind of phospholipid called PIP2, thus converting it to PIP3. PIP3 recruits and activates protein kinase B, or AKT. Protein kinase B phosphorylates protein TBC1D1, which travels deeper towards the cellular storage compartment. TBC1D1 activates RAB-GDP, converting it to active RAB-GTP. This releases GLUT4 vesicles to the cell surface. Fusion of the phospholipid bilayers of the vesicles and the cell adds glucose transporter proteins to the plasma membrane. Glucose can then enter the cell and undergo glycolysis or glycogen synthesis. Consider, how does exercise increase glucose uptake by skeletal muscle cells independently of insulin? Exercise increases glucose uptake independently of insulin through a contraction-mediated pathway. During intense exercise, an enzyme called adenylate kinase, labeled ADK, converts two ADP molecules into one ATP molecule and one AMP molecule. The ATP is hydrolyzed immediately for energy, and the AMP attracts AMP-activated protein kinase, labeled AMPK. AMPK plays a similar role to protein kinase B in recruiting TBC1D1, the protein that releases GLUT4 vesicles to the cell surface. Calcium, released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum during contraction, may also promote GLUT4 vesicle translocation through this pathway. Exercise promotes glucose uptake both acutely and over time through the contraction-mediated and insulin-stimulated pathways. Therefore, moderate to vigorous daily exercise can improve blood glucose management in patients with type 2 diabetes.